My interest is I'm getting to the homeless being pushed and without nowhere to go. Their whole thing originally was, you know, it, it sucks that the, the big banks get away with uh, well, God. doing all the shit and then, and then you end up with people who get evicted or yeah. whatever. I joined the fight um, this last year in April I was back out in the wetlands. So my girlfriend died. Um, she got airborne meningitis out there. The last time I was homeless. Well, I pulled her up from camp. Yeah. She got as far as Home Depot. We had to call the ambulance. If they not had not had to go to the wetlands as a place to hide, then she would probably still be alive now today. And I would like the city to think about this. People's lives are at stake. In order for us to be able to go out there and reintroduce ourselves into society, we need a safe place to sleep when we're not going to get ticketed $200 the first time, $500 the second time, and a jail uh, arrest the third time. People can't focus on what job they want to go out with for. People are fighting and struggling to go to the doctor. They have no steady place for an address where they can get up in the morning and say, well, i got to go to my doctor's appointment. They're too worried about where they're going to sleep at night. If they would uh, go through the lives that some of these young as they went through, they would understand more better that home isn't always the best place. And sometimes the system screws up just as bad, if not worse, than the homes. So, I mean, what else is a kid supposed to do? It's not like they have much of a choice after that. So that sense of safety that a family gives, that many people didn't have in their young lives, for whatever their reasoning, whether it's foster care or parents that didn't care, they need to feel safe. From an adult's point of view, it's kind of it's kind of troubling because I mean, there there'll be times when you do good and there'll be times when you fall down. When you go back and forth for years, but uh, during the bad times, it gets kind of aggravating because it's kind of hard to get back on your feet because you can't get no sleep. I mean, and plus you get ticketed and you get jailed. And, what good does this do me, you, or me, you, or anyone else? I mean, it doesn't do anything. It just spends the taxpayers' money for somebody who wasn't doing anything wrong unless you call sleeping wrong. You guys just tickle my heart, you know that?